What's up, YouTubers? So, um, I was just getting ready to, as you can see, you got my gear, my helmet there. I was just getting ready to jump on the bike to head to school. And right as I was uh, getting ready to put my helmet on, I get a call from my uh, career advisor at the uh, at IADT. A while, about two or three weeks ago, I had applied for a, um, a job as a, um, a audio post-production engineer for the Home Shopping Network uh, here in the Tampa Bay. Actually, it's in St. Petersburg, Florida, but it's just on the other side of the bay from here. And uh, the uh, my my uh, career advisor had sent several applicants to to uh, to this lady who had posted a job opening, but all the audio students had nothing but strictly audio demos. They didn't have anything video on there. Now, granted, it's an audio program, but there's um, audio work that's done in video. If anyone who's worked in production knows that you have a guy who does video editing, but there's also a separate guy that does audio editing. It's, it's a completely different ballgame. There's, there's so much more involved in it than just splicing together videos. So, anyhow, so when I met him, he asked to see my demo reel, and I showed it to him. And he was thrilled to see that, number one, I had video um, demos. And then number two, that I have an, I have an entire terabyte full of sound effects and Foley and for those of you who don't know what Foley is, Foley is making sound effects with actual with actual noises, with actual objects like banging a hammer against a wall or something and then taking that recording and splicing it and editing it and modulating it and making it fit whatever sound effect you're trying to create. So um, he was impressed by that so he said listen I'm gonna send you and no one else to this lady. In fact, she had told him that if you send me one more demo reel that's strictly audio and no video, I'm going to stop taking applicants from you. So he pretty much had given up on trying to fill his position. But he met me. He, he said, I'm just going to send you and no one else. And I just got a call just now. Uh, as I'm Right after I posted the, uh, the TikTok cover that we did way back, like last term, that was my first catch-up video, by the way. Link in the in the description or in, in the doobly-doo, as a easy waiter would say. Um, I had just posted that. I had gotten my stuff together. I was getting ready to leave for school, and my phone starts ringing in my pocket. And I'm like, oh gosh! I have to unzip my jacket and look it up. But dude, finally gonna get a good-paying job for the Home Shopping Network. So. Maybe it's the, they're they're interested. They want to talk. They want to have a sit down with me. So I mean, this is not a, a sure thing yet. This is an interview, but this is a lot more promising than uh than uh than not hearing anything at all. So and I, and I was you know, several weeks have gone by, and I was thinking, okay, if I was gonna hear something by now, it would have happened. So I had written them off, but yes. So uh. I'm going to be, they said I should expect to call in the next 24 to 48 hours, so we'll see what happens. Anyhow, just wanted to throw that out there, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.